just spend 10 minutes making a video about the TBS Tango 2 only to discover that on my recording studio I had not set the microphone to the right point. So you got a whole video of me talking nothing because you just hear me and maybe if you can lip read you could watch it but I won't bother publishing that one so I'll start over. Anyway, <laughs> the long and short of it is I recently got myself a Tango 2 and I got it primarily because at the moment I'm chopping and changing a little bit between radios. I'm flying a lot of gliders and things like the jetty and I wanted something I could take along with me to fly my quads and I think there's a little bit of backstory here which I'll get into but um, I'll tell you about that later. So um, I obviously wanted one of these to fly the quads and I've been pleasantly surprised. I'm not as a rule a fan of tiny little radios. I prefer big tray based radios or nice big handheld radios. They feel better. But TBS have got this right. It feels great in the hands and quite frankly my flying it's it's taken me maybe three flights and i'm completely locked in with this and and that's saying a lot because i'm so fussy with radios that i can sometimes take several weeks to be feeling kind of comfortable and happy with a radio whereas in this case i picked it up the first flight was a little bit shaky the second flight was getting better and by the third i was like hey i'm on form i'm happy and it's a great radio for that. It's, it's really going to do a good job for me moving forwards. You know, I think ergonomically the switches are easy to use. Everything's accessible. I could possibly fault these two little push buttons on the back. The truth is you probably don't use them so much. I, I actually use mine for, um. I did a video on this a while back and I ported all the same functions and flight modes over. Let me just load up the radio. Okay, and what I'll show you here is I can basically, I can say, press the button. Warning, pre-armed, toggle trainer switch to arm. And then I use the one button on the back here, which is now arm and disarm. Armed. Okay, and then if I depress that button. Warning, aircraft will disarm on zero throttle, disarm. And there you go. So I've done a whole little sequence of logical switches and things to do that. And I was really chuffed to see I could do that because it's, essentially it's still running OpenTX. I know they call it Freedom TX. This radio is running OpenTX with a few tweaks and it's fantastic it really is a good radio for that but um I, I i know i'm conscious i'm rambling here and um what i wanted to get to on earlier on when i said um i'd get back to it is that i've discovered something through having flown this radio that wasn't apparent to me beforehand and i kind of thought possibly it was me just getting a little bit rusty and not having flown quads enough recently so what, ha what happened when I started flying the jetty radio, I actually found the flying of quads got worse. My, my personal flying, I, I kind of just felt I wasn't as locked in. But it's, it's a very subjective thing because the more I flew it, the more it would feel okay. But when I fly an aircraft, I'm just like, oh my god, wonderful, it's perfect. And I, I kind of came to the conclusion that maybe it's just the way the gimbals feel is not quite right for flying a quad whereas with this I'm just so locked in instantly and I think what this actually comes down to is the ergonomics of the radio how it feels and there are some fundamental differences to how people who fly quads fly and hold a radio as opposed to guys who fly a fixed wing and line of sight and I think that's where the source of it is and in some ways when you're a fixed wing flyer you probably use slightly longer gimbals everything gets softened and dampened a little bit more but you need that you need that higher expo and everything just naturally within the radio because when you're not flying with a flight controller it's kind of just makes it easier whereas with a quad you're kind of a little bit more on it all the time you're there and it's like it, it's a little bit more game controller bang 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 and it's these the gimbals don't you don't want to move them so far so i find for example with the jetty a movement from the center to the side it's a long affair it takes a while to get there whereas with this it's like bang it's a tree you know this is you can move these really quickly and it, it was an interesting thing to me to discover this because before that i thought a radio is a radio is a radio and in some ways it is but actually i think there's quad radios and there's plane radios and 
there's a few which sit somewhere in between but um they neither they i don't think they're as good as they could be in either direction so there's something to be said for flying with one of these if you fly with quads and there's something to be said for flying with you know well a jetty or you know jr or one of those if you're flying planes because there are some differences and um maybe it's just me but personally this is going to be my go-to quad radio i'm going to take it with me every time i go out quad flying and um, i'll probably also take my other radio because if i'm doing anything with the aircraft i'll use that and that's just how it's got to be because i do think i fly better in the different forms as and when i do that anyway guys enough of me rambling i hope you haven't been too bored by my um meanderings this evening and um enjoy have fun cheers guys